I'm Pia the Gallerist, and you are listening to Thinking Outside of the Cube, a Cube Gallery podcast produced by Katie and Gabby. Hi, this is JD Gonzalez, curator of this show, Camping Trip 2. Take a few minutes to listen to Mr. Sasquatch, or Mr. S, or Mark Jeffrey Santos, or whatever his name is at the moment. That's not so important as his art, which, if you think about it, is like his name. It's constantly evolving. So in this podcast, Mark talks about his growth and his inspirations and his aspirations. It's a great snapshot of who he is at the moment. So listen and enjoy. Thank you. Hi, guys. My name is Mark Jeffrey Santos. I'm an artist based in Manila. Okay, so our first question is, do you remember when you first became interested in art and do you think it started at a young age, or was it, what is it a little bit more recent? I think it's a little bit more recent, uh, because before I really wanted to be an animator, I ended up uh, studying film, so it's, it's pretty far away, <laughs> so yeah. But after, uh, after a few projects of film, um, I realized that I can't work like that. It's, for me, it's so stressful, so I kind of went to a different path. Do you have any art influences, whether that's from film, animation, or art? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, I have a lot of influence. Um, I was one of the kids who grew up watching anime in the morning and after school. So, yeah, being exposed to that, uh, constantly being exposed to that kind of information uh, really engraves in your visual library. So I guess every time I, I'm thinking of a concept, it, you know, I get from that visual library. So yeah, so it's from anime. And, and then recently, um, as, as I've said before in the previous podcast, uh, I'm heavily influenced in Juxtapose magazine, especially the artist, Jeff Soto, so yeah. Is there like any particular anime, like movies or films that particularly you, you draw upon mm. when you paint? Um, when I was a kid, uh, I really liked Dragon Ball Z and uh, Samurai X, Rurouni Kenshin, if you know that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm, I'm not really a hardcore anime fan. Can you tell us a bit more about your art process? Art process? Um, there's really no uh, um, a specific pattern to my process. So anything goes. But usually it starts with um, a sketch. Sometimes it, it starts with a phrase from wherever I read something. So yeah, something like that. Do you sketch, do you have like an end goal in mind? Or do you just like follow? Is my point five? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Okay, but can you look yeah, usually, usually I I already have an end goal in mind, the output. But I, it's not really how how do I put this? It doesn't always turn out how I did in my mind. So yeah. When you're creating artwork for an exhibition, how do your days change depending on when you're creating artwork and when it's just a normal day? Like, do you have a a routine or a schedule? Uh, no, I'm I'm a bit of a procrastinator myself, so it's it's really hard. <laughs> but right now I'm trying not to be. So I bought a Ghost of Tsushima PS4 game. So <laughs> I'm trying I'm trying not to play it. So <laughs> so but don't don't do this at home. <laughs> uh, can you tell us a bit more about your universe and the characters you've? created in that universe and how you kind of came up with those? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so I'm, I was influenced by Jeff Soto, yeah. So I kind of um, copied his style of um, universe because usually his paintings are like um, in this vast lands. So I kind of copied that and and the and the degree of weirdness that he makes, I kind of like that. So I made it similar to mine. So yeah. And the character that I made, uh, the Sasquatch guy, it was it was from before when I, because when I'm starting, I wanted to be a street artist. So I came up with a name, 
uh, Mr. Sasquatch. At that time, I didn't, I didn't, I, at that time, I didn't see, I think that character is very unique at that time, so. Have you ever met Jeff Soto? No, no, never. You should try to but message I wanted him. to. But he never replies. <laughs> I tried it once, so. Yeah. <laughs> He's a busy guy, so. Uh, okay. <laughs> But how did you like decide on like giving the characters, especially like the sushi, like I don't know what it's called, but the pole with the sushi like hanging out or the sushi in the mm, Yeah, I just like sushi, so I put them with all of my work with the with the backpacks and the pole and stuff. Um, I'm kind of uh, inspired by traveling. Every time I work uh, on a painting, it always depicts that as if he is traveling. Yes. So yeah. It gives you that feeling of wanderlust. I feel like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I call him. I have a sculpture there right now. It's called the Wanderer. It really suits the theme of the camping trip. Like. Yeah. yeah, yeah. In regards to your style, especially as like I remember in the last podcast, you mentioned that you were exploring styles. What was that process like? And like, did you have any particular favorite styles that you would like to go back to at one point? Actually, this is my original style, but before that, I've experimented with a lot of styles, so yeah. And in the end, I really like with the style that I use now, so. so Katie and I really, really liked your color palette. We were wondering yeah. kind of where did you come up with that? Uh, um, I'm not sure, but it's through experimentation, I guess. Yeah. I like... If you know um, Robbie Dwi Antono, do you know his works? I'm kind of in inspired by his color palette. So his works are always, um, his color palette are always um, in the new neutral side. So I, I try to be on that spectrum also. So I try to be, the colors are dull, so. Is there like any limitation to like working with a restri more restricted color palette per se? Uh, I guess so, but I guess so, but it's it's really hard to stay on that limited spectrum of colors, if you know what I mean. So it's really hard to dull the colors because it, you have a limitation not to use uh, very satur saturated colors when you're painting. And also because the colors from the paint tube is already very concentrated. So you have to dull them before you put it in the canvas. So yeah. Uh, you mentioned in the last podcast that before you became an artist, you were a graphic designer, but never really yeah, yeah. loved it. Do you have any inspirations from back then that influence your artwork now? Or like any lessons from being a graphic designer that... I guess it not from a visual inspiration, but from the technical inspiration, I guess. Mm -hmm. Because that's where I learned how to use colors, how colors kind of... Um, express emotion to a certain piece so yeah i i used i applied it to my art today so uh, how do you think you've evolved as an artist from the last mm. camping trip exhibition to the one now how i've evolved is that i i'm sticking to one style right now instead of exploring to a lot of different styles so and i've learned that um it's not about competition i guess <laughs> so yeah everyone has their own um, path so we're all gonna get there eventually so yeah so it's kind of like how <laughs> so it's kind of like how we called you guys uh, what did he call you guys? Arch nemesis or so like yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. But uh, Reen is very competitive. So yeah. <laughs> Especially because all your art styles like complement each other. Like, how did you first feel when you like saw all the work and saw the first camping trip yeah. and everything mm. come together? Yeah, yeah. I I think it's very cool. But at that time, 
because I experimented with a different style. So I guess I felt that I didn't I didn't do my best at that time. So but at least it turned out great. So yeah. <laughs> Do you have a favorite painting you made at, like, throughout your entire art career? Is there a specific one that you think, this is my favorite, I would keep this forever? All of them are my favorite, but, but there is one that really sticks to my mind. Um, it's called um, On Our Way to Utopia, something like that, I forgot. But you can see it in my Instagram. If you... It's like, uh, there's two Sasquatches. Um, riding a circular pizza. It's a, like a whole pizza in in space. It's like a pizza spaceship. So they're on their way on their utopia. So um, <laughs> is there, there a is there a defining moment in your career when you thought, oh, this changed my life? Yeah, when when I when I showed in secret secret fresh gallery, all my paintings were sold. So. I guess that's the defining moment for me. That it's like a I got validation from the people that I look up to. So yeah, that's when I decided that I'm gonna do this forever. <laughs> was this soon after your first gallery exhibit? Yeah, yeah. That that was my second show in oh. Secret Fresh. Yeah. Oh, is there any artist you really want to collaborate with? Hmm. Local or foreign? Any, like your dream artist. Dream artist. Of course, uh, Jeff Soto and uh, Robbie Dwi Anton. So yeah, they're my idols. And also there's one, uh, Andrew Hem. When, when I first saw these artists, that's when I decided that I wanted to ha have that kind of style in painting. Because there's a lot of genre in painting, right? So there's abstract, there's conceptualization. So when I saw these types of art, that's when I knew that I wanted this type of work. So yeah. So just out of curiosity, if you could bring back any dead artist, doesn't even have to be an artist, if you, can, you could bring back anyone dead to ask them for art to help. <laughs> Who would it be and why? <laughs> Just out of curiosity. Oh my god. Um, dead artist. Mm, I guess um, Hieronymus Bosch. Do you know that? Yeah. I really like his style. It's like a modern... What would you ask him? What would I ask him? Um, I guess I would ask him how, how, how long did he do that? painting I guess because <laughs> I think his paintings are really really took a long time to finish because it's so detailed where do you see yourself in 10 years where do I see myself I guess I wanted to penetrate the western art scene so I wanted I wanted to be known there in in the states and um yeah my goal is to be on the cover of juxtapose mac yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah but that's going to take a long time and a lot of hard work so yeah do you have any advice for anyone who might be thinking of starting an art career whether they're young or old i i'm just gonna say that just do it every day because it's the only way how to learn. I mean, the best way to learn how to do it is to do it every day. How do you get scouted by art galleries? Um, after my first solo show, uh, Carlo was there. Carlo was like a partner owner of uh, Vinyl that time. So he invited me to have a show in their gallery. So. That's what happened. How do you feel about the exhibit being moved to Zoom? Um, not really excited about yeah. it. <laughs> but it's okay. What's your cat's name? They're Kamir and Kamon. 
So it means come here, come on, and let go. Let's go. So yeah. <laughs> so whenever I call them, come here, come here, come here, come, here. come on, come on. <laughs> That's actually really smart. That's really smart. Three. I know that like some cats can be very like jumping on your shoulders and stuff. Do yeah, they yeah. ever do that when you have, do they ever do that when you're painting, or like jump? When up. when they're still little, oh. Camir is always here on my shoulder, so it's kind of cute. But it's not cute right now because <laughs> their claws are like. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts. Do you do you think you'd ever like do a painting that incorporates like cat paw prints or anything? Uh, there's one painting that there's always uh, Kamir. She was the black and white cat. Oh, yeah. oh that's so cute. <laughs> Thank you so much again. We're sorry okay. for the Thank cat you. obsession. I'll send you a picture of my cats. So. Please. Please. <laughs> Finished already? Don't worry. We have more episodes coming up. Thank you for listening. And if you have any comments or suggestions on how we can make these podcasts better, you know how to reach us. And in case you didn't know, we have a new website, cubegallery.ph, which we'd love for you to check out. Enjoy the rest of your day.